George IV was born on August 12, 1762, in St. James's Palace, London. He was the eldest son of King George III and Queen Charlotte. He was given the name George after his father and his grandfather, King George II. He had several siblings, including his younger brothers, the Dukes of Clarence, Kent, and Cumberland, and his sisters, Princess Royal, Princess Augusta Sophia, Princess Elizabeth, Princess Mary, and Princess Sophia. In 1811, George IV was appointed Prince Regent after his father was declared unfit to rule due to his mental illness. He served as Prince Regent for nine years until he became king in 1820. This period was known as the Regency Era. George IV was known for his extravagant lifestyle, which led him to accumulate massive debts. He spent large sums of money on clothes, furniture, and parties. His love of luxury and excess was a reflection of the times and the Regency era, which was known for its indulgences and hedonism. In 1785 he secretly married his lover Maria Fitzherbert, a commoner and a Catholic. He was unable to officially marry her due to the Act of Settlement 1701, which barred the spouse of a Catholic from succeeding to the throne. Nevertheless, they went through with the marriage, although it was not legal without the king's consent. In 1795, George IV officially married Caroline of Brunswick, primarily so that his father would pay off his considerable debts, but their relationship was unhappy, and they separated soon after. They had one daughter Princess Charlotte. Princess Charlotte later died during childbirth in 1817. George IV had taken a mistress, Lady Jersey, before he married Caroline, and their relationship had already broken down by the time of the wedding. The marriage was a scandal and caused much public disapproval. He had several other mistresses during his time and rumored to have several illegitimate children. George IV ascended the throne after the death of George III in 1820, he was 57 and obese and possibly addicted to laudanum, a type of opium. His coronation was on 19 July 1821 at Westminster Abbey. The coronation was a magnificent and expensive affair, costing over 20 times the cost of his father's coronation. His wife Caroline was not invited and she died on 7 August. After falling ill on the day of the coronation, she said she thought she had been poisoned. During his reign, George IV oversaw significant constitutional reforms, including the Catholic Emancipation Act, which allowed Catholics to hold public office. The act was passed in 1829, just before the end of his reign, and was a significant milestone in British history. It ended centuries of discrimination against Catholics and was a triumph for religious freedom. George IV was a patron of the arts and sciences, and his reign saw a flourishing of British culture, including the Romantic literary movement. He was a keen collector of art and commissioned many works by famous artists such as Sir Thomas Lawrence and George Stubbs. His interest in the arts helped to promote a new era of creativity and intellectualism in Britain. George IV was also an avid collector of Orientalist art and artifacts, and his fascination with the exotic and the unfamiliar led him to commission the construction of the Royal Pavilion in Brighton. The pavilion remains one of the most famous buildings of the Regency era, with its distinctive Indo-Saracenic architecture and sumptuous interiors. His reign saw the establishment of the Metropolitan Police in London, and he was responsible for the modernization of several key government institutions. The police force was created to combat rising crime rates in the capital, and its success paved the way for the creation of other police forces across the country. George IV suffered from a range of health problems throughout his life, including gout, obesity, and mental illness. He was known for his erratic behavior and heavy drinking and was often criticized for his lack of judgment and self-control. He was often ridiculed on his rare appearances in public. George IV was known for his flamboyant dress sense, which included elaborate coats, waistcoats, and hats. He was a trendsetter in the fashion world and was admired for his style and elegance. He was a popular figure in the London social scene, where he was a regular at balls and parties. He was known for his charm and wit and was a skilled conversationalist. He was also a patron of the arts and sciences and was a keen supporter of the Royal Society and the Royal Academy. George IV was a keen sportsman and enjoyed hunting, shooting, and fishing. He was a member of the Royal Yacht Squadron and enjoyed sailing. He also played cricket and was the patron of the Marlborough Cricket Club. His reign saw the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, which brought about significant changes to the British economy and society. The introduction of new technologies and methods of production led to the growth of new industries and the expansion of existing ones. He was a patron of the Royal Society of Arts and was interested in the promotion of scientific and technological innovation. His reign saw the development of the steam engine, 
which revolutionized transportation and industry, and the construction of the first public railway, the Stockton and Darlington Railway. His reign saw the publication of some of the most famous works of British literature, including the novels of Jane Austen and the poetry of William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. George IV was a supporter of the British military and oversaw the development of new technologies and tactics. He was particularly interested in the use of artillery and supported the construction of new fortifications and barracks. He died on June 26, 1830, at Windsor Castle, and was succeeded by his brother, William IV. His reign was relatively short, lasting only 10 years, but it was a time of great change and transformation in British history. His reign saw the growth of the British Empire, which expanded its influence and territories throughout the world. He was responsible for the establishment of British colonies in Australia and New Zealand and oversaw the expansion of British influence in India and Africa. The British Empire became the largest empire in history during his reign, and his policies helped to shape the world in the 19th and 20th centuries.